Hi, and welcome back to Unpaid Film Critic. Yeah. I'm still down here. I'll be down here from all my videos. I'm going to the background. But yeah, um... Yeah, today's video, the film that I'll be reviewing, is... I mean, then it goes to him at the end of my last video. I was going to do Elvis. I named him the king. You wonder, well, who is Elvis? Well, it's Elvis Presley. The guy who kind of... He did a lot of rock and roll songs. He's basically the king of rock and roll. Um, yeah. Someone who... Grew up listening to a lot of rock and roll. I love him. I love his music. Uh, so talk about the film. It stars Austin Butler, who plays a wonderful Elvis Presley. He's not impersonating him. In my mind, he actually knew how to play him because an impersonator will really, will really dive into his, like, the way he talks to an extent of mockery but um austin has to do that austin knows how to make him n knows how to do the story really well and he actually does sing a lot of Elvis Presley songs and he does a damn good job right knowing how to sing his songs really well um baz lerman directed it the same guy who didn't do great gate or the great gatsby so if you watch this great Gadsden movie, you'll see a lot of his influence. And I really like his music style. He does a really good sound mixing, which is very interesting. Because um, Elvis Presley took a lot of um, African-American music. Like, a lot of his songs were actually sung by African-American musicians. And that was interesting. Uh, yeah. And that was interesting, watching him taking that stuff and able to... Yeah, I did benefit off of it, but at the time, I mean, no one, not a lot of people actually were getting into rock and roll. They thought it was risque and damaging, because you actually see when he's moving his legs, like this on the very beginning, he shakes them a bit, and the ladies go wild. That is no joke. The ladies act like they are drugs, and his legs are the drugs. It is interesting. And that's what I mean. It, it looks very interesting on how the movie's presented and really made. Um, they don't really talk about about his drug habits, which I'm happy because, um, in in other musicians, uh, ones most likely Bohemian Rhapsody and Rocket Man, they mainly focus a lot on the drugs and sex. This didn't. This really focused on him as a person and less on what happened to him. But it, he really goes downhill. You can really see it when Tom Hanks' character who plays is the Colonel, which he's known as. And he really basically just... Elvis is really the monkey, and he was the monkey owner. And he would get a lot of money out off of Elvis. So he didn't want Elvis to do a lot of stuff. So in the movie... I'm sorry if I'm going into spoilers. I mainly don't do this, but there's a lot of stuff that, the, that you really don't like Tom Hanks, or but he plays a really good villain. I, I was surprised that he was able to do that because you don't you normally don't see Tom Hanks act like that, and when he does, he's interesting. Um, the, the movie itself is really good. Um, once he gets to, I mean, everyone likes him in Vegas because he's really big in Vegas, but the Vegas part wasn't really my my favorite because that was towards that wasn't really my favorite part of the film. But other than that, it's a great movie. I highly recommend it. I know that I say that a lot, but I just want to keep an open mind on all films. I haven't found one film this year that I've hated. And I don't want to make angry reviews on films that I don't like because I'm just like... I, I, I would rather... Yeah. But... Yeah, this movie is pretty good. Um, I would have to say it's... I'm going to be going up there next to La La Land and Les Mis. Don't worry, my review for Les Mis 2012 will be coming out soon, but in the near future. 
yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's a really good music musical. Hopefully you guys can get it. It's called Elvis, Jeremy Baz Luhrmann, stars Austin Butler and Tom Hanks. Really good film. I managed to see it in a local theater, but you guys still will see it now. And you guys can enjoy it as much as I did when it comes to HBO Max or like some sort of streaming service. I don't know. Or you just buy it on DVD or rent it on Amazon. Probably it's on Amazon, so check wherever you can find it. I think I think I can I, I think it's on Amazon. I know it is coming to HBO Max. I just don't know the date yet. But when it comes out I will post it. So yeah. Uh also my next film, my next thing that we'll be re reviewing is a Jackie Chan film that recently came out. And it is a movie that cannot be unseen. Well, that's been our review and preview for Elvis and another film. Find out which one I am, find out which one, and please... DM me what you think my next review is. Bye-bye.